Super Bowl. Look at the big Cheshire cat smile on George's face. He is a happy person. First, first thing I'm going to say is hats off to Bobby, um, my buddy Brian, who doesn't probably watch the show, and Dawn, because I you're the only three Steelers fans I truly know. Um, well, and your buddy that I've also met a Joe, couple times, yeah, Joe. And I'm sure Joe probably handled it well. Um, you guys stand behind your team. That's what all fans should do. Yep. And you handled this loss very well. So right. hats off to you because, in all honesty, would you rather be the second best team in the country or like the Redskins and the Eagles sitting home going do 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 do? Exactly. And, and that's the thing. And, and then, so this is the thing. Like, you got fans like, you know, Cristiano, Don, Bobby, all these people who are diehard Steeler fans, and all in Steeler Nation, and all you guys who are probably watching the video right now. But it, it is you the- losers! <laughs> I can't really talk. George is very happy because he wanted the Packers to win. But uh. I tell you what, this guy, his name is the Comet Master. Okay, you'll probably get a kick out of his comment. But I mean, this guy went into a complete Tourette rage on our comment board. He's a Steelers fan, and he makes it look bad for Steeler fans. That are normal, like the classy ones that we know. This is the guy that that cackles. For. He starts the comment off with, "This is fucking bullshit." Wow. The Steelers should have won last night, should they? Uh, really? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But those sh- those shitty Packers had to win. It's had, had to, to win, not had to win. Why it. doesn't anyone want to give the Packers any credit? The sa- damn it. Besides, what is great about the Packers? Maybe the 13 NFL championships the motherfuckers have. I, I mean, defense, the fact that they have the greatest offense, coach I, of all time, Vince Lombardi, the damn trophies named after the motherfucker. I mean, I could go on. Okay? What is great? And then he goes, the Packers play for a hellhole. Play Probably the only them. organization that the fans, the hellhole, they own their team. Well, yeah, that's that's only cool. known for smelly cheese. <laughs> smelly cheese. God. Their fans look like idiots when they wear those stupid cheese hats. Right, but you guys look so much more intelligent waving your towels in the air. Right, or or <laughs> fucking the dogs in Cleveland, or the hogs in Washington. Yeah, people, fan, it's just that's people, fans. It's dude. fans. Get their low, their team colors and logo are fucking shit. And Aaron Rodgers, this is the top. This this is where he tops off. Aaron Rodgers is a moron with no talent. Really, I, he, I might a, give you the moron part because <laughs> Shorty, he sounds. <laughs> But no talent? He sounds like a homeboy. But uh, <laughs> but no talent? Um, it, it's funny because this guy came in behind one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. He's the fourth quarterback ever to pass for 300 yards, what, three touchdowns and no interceptions. Right. And so uh, this is Super Bowl, what, 40? 45. So out of 45 Super Bowls, only four quarterbacks have done that. Right. This guy turns – Aaron Rodgers, I mean, he, he basically, with a franchise that – the Green Bay Packers, people love Brett Favre. People worship Brett Favre and everything. But this guy came in and has done what, what Brett, Brett Favre, Favre couldn't do. And that's win a Super Bowl and be the MVP. Brett because Favre never did that. If you don't remember, Desmond Howard got that. MVP because that mother's running back touchdowns, which made them win the fucking Super right. Bowl. It what, wasn't Favre that won that Super Bowl. kick? Yeah, so. Now, uh, getting back to the game. Right. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest. Everyone asked me, how do you see the Super Bowl going? And I'm like, I looked at him and was like, I want the Packers to win. But I honestly think the Steelers are going to win because every time the Steelers get in a game like this, and this is, and I absolutely love your head coach. Your yep. head coach is a robot. I love him. It's fucking and, a class act. And, so, yeah, and, just... In the interviews afterwards, he's like, "All you people want to make excuses, but no one's saying exactly what was said." The Packers played a good game, right? And, you know and that's what Mike Tomlin said. Everyone wants to make excuses as to why the Steelers didn't win. You wonder what the biggest excuse was? The Packers are a good fucking well, team. They are. They be, they beat them. Very, I mean, and you know what's funny? I will say this: all the Steelers were really classy with their interviews afterwards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were every one of them. Dude, every one of them, I including just, Big Ben. I just you know love how Big Ben found time to shave. And I, I that's just something that's. Just, I don't. Mind, I don't understand. So mind boggled by yes, this. I am. The dude's playing the game with a full beard, and I'm thinking, all right, you're getting ready for the Super Bowl, and he's like, you know what? I probably should bring something so I can shave my beard after the game. Like when when does that become like what I? I'm telling you, it was a superstitious thing. I think he was trying to get to the 18 and under club. Oh, here we go. He's taking. Oh, and by the way, all you girls in Wisconsin, be on the lookout because you know he's gonna be up in Wisconsin all summer long, raping bitches, yelling reparations. (laughs) You know what's happening. He's gonna be on the prowl. Yeah, he's engaged. Okay, so am I. Yeah, he's engaged. Some dumbass female got engaged to that fucking asshole. Now let's. Now let's get back to the game. This. So, still in Asia, everybody's going to talk about defenses. Okay, this, this, the Packers defense proved that they were the better defense. This is what I have to ask you. Mm-hmm. 
What did you think of Troy Palomalu in the playoffs? He just wasn't himself. He was sort of injured. He definitely wasn't himself. Now, he, he, I, I'm, I'm a big Palomalu. I think he's a great football player. I think he's the best defensive football player out there. But he just definitely wasn't himself. He was hurt, and he was hurt. He was, I mean, I'll give him, he was definitely hurt during the playoffs. Well, and here's the other thing. I think when you have a Packers offense who lines up and strikes quick, mm-hmm. you take Palomalu out. Yeah. You, you don't give him a chance to really read, and you're, you're baiting on his react first. Right. Because, I mean, on the touchdown, Aaron Rodgers dropped back, look left, look left. Palomalu broke on a guy. He went that way. The guy went that way, and Aaron Rodgers went, eh-eh. That's it. Right, exactly. So, he, I mean, he, Palomalu was a non-factor in that game. He really was. I mean, Aaron Rodgers did pick them apart. He really did. I mean, he played a better game than Big Ben. The Two. Packers defense played a better than, uh, a better uh, game than the Steelers defense. Now, the bottom line is this: we need to get to more serious shit. Okay? Yeah. How many? How many? How many yards could have Aaron Rodgers passed for if his team wasn't dropping balls left and right? Jordy Nelson could have probably had do, the do you think single. That's when I'm talking serious, I'm talking about the Joe Jerk Thor shit. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You're talking stats, nigga. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, talking stats. I'm talking Jim. Jordy I'm, Nelson could have been gone down in history as the greatest single Super Bowl performance ever if that motherfucker could catch. He could have. He, I mean, he could have. And you want to talk about Joe Dirt? I, I, I'm Dirt. just telling you, man, because I, I'm going to tell you, everybody out there, y'all can – you can. bottom line is – This is Clay the longest Matthews, video ever, by okay, the way. Okay, we don't give a shit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look, when Kevin Green – now, which you even – in Steeler, Steeler, Steel, uh, what the fuck am I trying Steeler to say? Nation. Jesus Christ. Steeler Nation, you gotta love it, because Kevin Green was an ex Steeler. When he came out there and he grabbed Thor, and he is Thor, not Joe Dirt. Dirt. He's not Joe Dirt, because you guys on the comic board determined that. He grabbed Thor and he said, it's time. And he picked up Mendenhall and went, Mer! and smoked Mendenhall, surely. Cause smoked him. Just crushed him. Oh. I mean, he didn't put him in a bowl and choke him up or anything. You know what I'm saying? I just watched that movie some good black hash. Hash. Dude, huh? Let me tell you. <laughs> When you're sitting at home and there's nothing to watch on TV, you find yourself watching channels you didn't even know existed. And there's a channel out there called Black Stars. And I'm like, you didn't what's know about this? That. That no. Yeah. I watched <laughs> Above the Rim. Oh, did you? How High. Those are all classics. Like, all the, I'm like, wow. Yeah. It was great. Half-baked? No, not enough black people. In. Damn, fucked up. <laughs> this is crazy. Well, wait, was well, something else that I wanted to talk about. Oh, now this is how we'll say. George took the kind of stance. He said, you know what? I always thought the Steelers were going to win the game. I did. I... I I thought that, and I will say, after the Packers' best defensive player went out, and arguably their best offensive player went out. Well, I'd say their I wouldn't say their best offensive or leader, player. offensive, yeah, offensive leader. leader, inspirational. Because I'm gonna tell you what, that dude looks like Flavor Flav. Yeah. Jesus tell me, Donald Driver does not look like Don. Come on, dog. He is Chris Bitty Crackly as Cat Williams <laughs> would say. Dude, during the what are we laughing now? Listen, when she said you're called him a. Uh, 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 raisin, well then raisin. Yes. Lisa Lampanelli's some funny shit. You guys gotta check her out. But anyway, I until that point, the Packers and the people could say what they want. The Packers were dominating the Steelers. Yeah. They were up twenty one three, and then when Woodson went out, and then when Driver went out, the whole that at that point in time, I'm like this. Dave texts me and he goes like this. He goes, Steelers gonna come back and win this fucking game. Yeah. I'm like, you're absolutely right. I mean, with seven minutes left to go in the fourth quarter and the Steelers getting the ball back, I looked at Jimmy. I was like, here's exactly what's gonna happen. Steelers are gonna drive down and score. They're gonna give them about three or four minutes. They're gonna get the ball back to the Packers, three and out. They're gonna get the ball back with two minutes or less. They're gonna win the game. I did not think the Steelers weren't gonna win the game yeah. until Ben 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 Big Ben threw the ball to Mike Wallace ben and ben. yeah, ben. Wallace couldn't <laughs> catch it. Try to stick a dick in your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. Just get a middle note of that, man. I'm not gonna be. One, uh, I'm not. Look, if Big Ben came to rape me, you know what? I'm gonna black out, gonna wake up with a sore ass, but he's not gonna pay me off because we're going to court. <laughs> if, if, Big, if Big Ben goes to rape me, he's gonna rape you. No, that motherfucker's huge. Yeah. Huh? There, I'm gonna fight as much as I can, and I'm gonna swing. He's fast as shit too. I'm gonna swing, and I'm gonna swing, and then the lights are gonna go out, and I'm gonna wake up with a black eye. My ass. <laughs> Soul's probably gonna look like that, but I don't care. Uh, well, look, I'm not going out uh, like that. He he is he is he is fucking athletic as shit. Yeah, I I, I was impressed with him, man. Because oh, he took off a couple hey, times. Jay Cutler, Jay Cutler. Note to self: If you fucking hurt your knee like that, you don't go to the steakhouse the night that you hurt your knee and decide I'll walk up the steps. Shorty, if you could have walked up the steps, you could have continued to play in the game. And the reason I say that, Ben Roethlisberger slipped, looked like he blew out his knee and said, I'm going to still play. Right. Next play, and he sprints for a touchdown. Right. Uh, well, not a touchdown, but a big first down. That's why with so, the Super Bowl video, I made that comment about And you know, and you were right. Brian Urlacher had to say do what he did. I'm sure yes. him and Ur- Urlacher and Cutler could have a great relationship and stuff like this, but 
he still was the Lion King. Because I, I tell you what, people cowboy up when you have to. When it's because it, you could have been looking at the Bears being possibly in a Super Bowl. No. Yeah, okay. That'd have been terrible. I'm glad you said that. Now we're done with the Super. Bowl. <sighs> Moving.